Hey guys, and welcome to our video on how to access websites while you're at school. In the past, school was mainly about getting information, but now that seems to be much harder. That's why it's important to know how to access restricted websites at school. And in this video, I'll provide you three solutions to this issue so you can regain your internet freedom even at school. If this information helps you, please consider subscribing to our channel, so sit back, relax and let's get into it. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of these VPNs a try, you'll find a discount link available in the description down below to help you save some extra moolah. From what I've read in the comments of my videos, it does appear that schools are becoming increasingly stricter with their restrictions. Although some blocked content may not be suitable for a school, it's excessive to block access to educational resources like YouTube. Typically, a VPN or proxy would be used to access blocked websites, but those methods are often blocked as well. However, there are still ways to use a VPN to access these restrictions. I'm gonna guide you through the process of accessing blocked websites at your school. And I'm gonna assume that you're using a school provided device, which is typically a Windows laptop. Now, a common method for accessing website restrictions is by downloading a VPN app such as ExpressVPN. If you're successful in installing the app, it should be a really straightforward process from there. But in situations where apps are also blocked, an alternative solution would be to use a browser extension. These extensions utilize different internet ports, which may not be restricted. Now, many reputable VPN providers offer extensions for popular browsers, which can be easily located by searching the browser's extension menu. Now, if you need to access a video, article, or forum, not being able to change things won't be a problem for you. There is another way to access websites at school, which is a bit of a workaround. It's called using a URL shortener. The idea is that by shortening the link, it'll appear differently so that the school's blocks won't detect it. And this method can be a solution for accessing websites at school, assuming your school uses a blacklist of prohibited websites. Now, a popular URL shortener is Bitly, and it's really easy to use. Just go to the website and paste the link you want to access into the shortener. It can be really, really frustrating to have to go through so many steps to unblock a website. And hopefully, one of these methods will work for you so let me know how it goes. Now, you might be wondering which VPN you should use to access restricted websites at school. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three mm. VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN. And Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. 
And finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is the ideal choice for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions. Features such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. And so that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well, of course, as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, as I really love getting to interact with you guys. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or you'd like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.